Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show. And again, I'll just reintroduce my sidekick Man. here, Mr. Andrew Gitro, in morning. case you kind of late tuning into the program. Uh, we started talking, I started talking about Connie Ward and I going to dinner last night. And I wanted to take her, Mr. Jim had said, why don't you take her to a place maybe she has not eaten? So I said, where have you eaten? Well, she started off, with, we, I've eaten at the Steamboat in Washington, very good. She's eaten at the Barry's uh, Crawfish Corner. She's eaten at the Palace Cafe. She's eaten at Prejean's, and she went on and on and named uh, various restaurants in the local area. And uh, she said something about Highway 182. I said, well, we can go down and I'll show you the subdivision I developed uh, mm -hmm. on Megan Drive. And then uh, I said, we'll go to Cafe Josephine. So I took her down Megan Drive. She was really uh, pleased to see uh, the size of the lots. Uh, I, I made all the lots mm -hmm. 140 feet wide, which is considerably bigger than most standard subdivisions. You and I were riding towards Lafayette one day, and I had that little uh, Suzu Rodeo, kind of like a four-wheel drive suspension, mm -hmm. and I started talking about property that they needed to start subdivision south of Opelousas. And as I'm driving, you said, well, turn right here. I said, where? Right here. So I turned off road, we went in there, walked around, you said, what about a place like this? You think that's too far? You think it's too close? I said, no, I think this would be just right. And that was it. Made the and comment, once, you were ready to once, rule. Uh, Jay and I built uh, each a spec house in there, and once we sold those, it was like, like a wildfire <laughs> going through there, and it's really, the, the homeowners there uh, mm -hmm. take uh, exceptionally good care of all their loans, they follow the restrictions real well, and uh, I'm proud the to good show neighbors. people uh, the homes that are built there. How about some uh, sponsors again? How about and, but, but, oh, so, Okay, oh, well, anyhow, we ended up oh, yeah, yeah, eating at uh, uh, over at the Cafe, Cafe Josephine. Josephine, and uh, the food was good as usual. And uh, also, uh, I saw uh, Mark Elder told me hello. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, Don's, uh, Don Elder's, uh, Donald Elder's mm -hmm. uh, son. We had met, he said that uh, his, uh, that brother, uh, that died, Little Joe, Little Joe Elder. We had met at the funeral Correct. over in uh, Marksville. I said, well, sorry I didn't recognize you. And at the same time, I was talking with Iris DC. Mm -hmm. uh, Sal, what was, that was Sal's wife. Of course, Sal passed away sometimes back. She had a whole group of her uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So they were having a real, real nice time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I miss anybody else, I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, we enjoyed our evening and we were back home. Uh, you know, you, when you leave early like this, you, you you're, come back, home early. You, you're back home early. And I forgot to tune in to the rotary. Uh, Boy, and I was calling you out. I was trying I know, to get you to I know, spend but some you, money, but I knew you were out, too. Yep, so. yep. Uh, I had, everybody asked about you, but I said, I know he's entertaining people from out yep, of state. So. Yep. Carl's Thrifty Way, if you need some medicine, go buy Carl's. He can take care of multiple medications for you, fill all your prescriptions. He can do uh, anything over the counter as well, not just prescriptions. You know, when you're going to get that handful of things, your contact lens solution, maybe just a little antihistamines, that type of thing where you don't have the whole script. Bad he's got all that type of stuff whatever. there as well. He's got home decorating ideas. He's got gifts. They do gift wrapping for you, monogramming, huge, huge place. Go by and see Carl's. And Ordered my renewals today. There you How go. How about that Wednesday? How about Sears of Opelousas? Opelousas, uh, right there on Cresswell Lane. Derek Fowlson family, they have a great store there, huge store. They've got all your appliances that you need. They've got all your lawn and garden things that you need there as well. I'm talking refrigerators, televisions, uh, you weed eaters, you Craftsman old, tools. Craftsman tools. Which craft, is very popular. And Craftsman lawnmowers. I mean, they've got got all the good stuff with all those good quality uh, um, warranties that you're aware of with the Craftsman tools. Go by there. And one more, LHC Group, all your home health care needs. Uh, I know they're having the martini party tonight, the, uh, the, the red tie martini party, if you get a chance to go by to help support the cancer project that, that they do. But Louisiana Health Care Group always helping everybody all throughout South Louisiana. Uh, they do uh, everything from the therapists, the nurses, the equipment you need for your house, the uh, button you press to call for help, if you got a call for help, palliative hospice care. You know, I bet they're going to be at the 
function uh, community foundation oh, yeah. luncheon. Correct. I need uh, to bring that check and we're going to present it. We can do to that there. I'll even bring G. my camera. That way we there get a good go. picture. A good Louisiana picture. Healthcare Group, all about helping folks. What about uh, Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, we, 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 what about Jimmy Darbone? That, uh -huh. That's a natural picture right here. He wants everyone to visit him at his job as sales representative at John R. Young Chevrolet. And of course, that's a, a, a welcome back to. Yeah, because uh, he was there quite a few years. John, he was gone for quite a while, mm -hmm. but uh, he's well known. Uh, that smile is well known in the Eunice Acadiana area. Good luck to you, and uh, thanks to John R. Young for choosing uh, our staff here for their advertising uh, programming that you see on television across Acadiana. Uh, those ads are made right here in the studio by our excellent staff. Uh, the Veterans Day uh, Memorial Mass will be 10 a.m. on the Veterans Day, uh, November the 11th, on Sunday, November 11th at St. Landry Catholic Church, 10 a.m. Mass, afterwards a little presentation outside at the, at the monument to Father LaFleur. It's the 50th anniversary of Vietnam, uh, of the Vietnam War. So remember your Vietnam vets. And also November the 6th, which is Election Day, don't forget Election Day is coming. Uh, November 6th, on Election Day, the polls are open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., all at your local places. Remember to bring your photo ID. Uh, Queen of Angels Church, all day long, from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., while the polls are open, will have a, uh, the doors will be open for prayer all day long, and they'll be saying rosaries on the hour to, to, to help uh, all, whoever our new leader is or, or current leader is or whoever, it, whoever works out with all the election, that they uh, think of the people and, and keep God in their mind. So, go by. Uh, I needed a, uh, a little instrument that you put on your rear view mirrors, your exterior rear view mirrors. Uh, they, they refer to it as a blind mirror. Those kind of it, curved it looking curved mirrors. and it, it picks up a, a larger area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was going to, uh, I was driving and I was, I was actually going to AutoZone, but I made a turn at uh, O'Reilly's uh -huh. and I walked in and then I suddenly realized it and I was just truthful with him. But uh, John, better known as Banana, uh, one of the sales clerks there says, Mr. Bobby, what can I do to help you? Well, he was so friendly. Uh, I told him what I needed and uh, he came out from Took the back care. of the counter and brought me to the section and I said I need that size right there 3.75 inches Man. and uh, it fits the whole little uh, you, had, you had measured that mirror. before you went or you just eyeballed that? Uh, we had tried one on that for size at Ramp's house uh, the day before. So you had a plan. Uh, so we had a plan. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, O'Reilly's was, was real, real nice to me. And then I have one more picture here. Oh, no. I got a few this, pictures. No, no. This picture right here. Uh, on their uh, Saturday night, believe it or not, I went to the quarter horse races. Come I had on. not been attending those regularly, and we had a blast. There was 11 trials for two-year-olds on the 17th of November, just two weeks from now. They're going to be having a $1 million purse. $1 million for quarter horses. For quarter horses. It's the richest purse annually in Louisiana and one of the richest Probably purses in the United States, for that matter. And uh, this couple here, I met them, they were standing, we were all standing in the same area watching the horses saddle up and racing and all. And uh, the young lady is Angie and her husband is Greg and uh, they pronounce it Burke. And I don't know, I got to thinking and I said, where y'all from? Santa Mo and uh, which is near the Baton Rouge area. And uh, I said, how do you spell that Burke? And uh, he says, B-O-U-R-Q-U-E. I said, ooh, and he starts laughing. I said, we say bork over right, here. Right. And uh, Jalapeno cheese sausage bread borks. But <laughs> I asked about George Bork, uh -huh. who lives down in Golden Meadows. Right. And I asked several people, and they didn't know a George Bork. And one of them finally said, are you trying to say George Burke? <laughs> and I said, yeah, and I remember that, it so down there. I picked at him. There but Greg go. and Angie really had fun and looking forward to the 17th when we uh, go to see the big race and we'll sit together at the table. I've already made the reservation for the table, so uh, expecting you. Cool. And Look then at this blast from the past. A quarter horse uh, person who has, well, he's had thoroughbreds, too, sure. but uh, 
big in quarter horses now, and also on the breeding side, he has several stallions that he stands at his uh, ranch in uh, Ventress, Louisiana, Point Capi Parish. Uh, we refer to it as New Roads, but he likes to say Ventress. That's on the other side. That, that would be on the eastern side of the, the, uh, of the False River. Uh, of False River. And uh, of course, I'm talking about J.E. Jumanville, mm -hmm. Jr. Well, Jr. The, the dad has been deceased a long time, so we can just say J.E. J.E. has been a friend, and I reminded him when we had gone to a quarter horse race up in Kentucky, and it was snowing. And I said, that's when I, I met you. And I said, I really remembered meeting Bunny a lot more than meeting you. <laughs> that's but I, But beautiful lady oh, yeah. and, uh, and, and sweet. And uh, of course, uh, J.E. Uh, helped us a lot when he was a state senator. He was mm -hmm. chairman of the insurance committee and got into learning all about the uh, insurance industry. I and, was surprised uh, that he wanted that, that elected position. I mean, I, I know he, he's definitely, he's a people person. Yeah. But it surprised me when he jumped into the politics side because he liked so much the horses and it was all business But his daddy was a senator. Oh, yeah. You oh, see, yeah. so he followed yeah, in he his followed, followed footsteps. His, yeah, yeah. So. But anyhow, uh, looking forward to the 17th, uh, doing a little shopping uh, Sunday afternoon for a few items and I was walking by and uh, this man comes up to me and uh, this friend of mine I might add uh -huh. Harlan uh, Kurt Kurgan, Kurgan, uh, who was with the Daily World for, I guess, close to 20 years. years here in the Opelousa area, has maintained his home in Sunset, Grancato area, although he had moved on to another state. No, he's now back in Louisiana. He uh, works or, or manages uh, the Daily newspaper in Morgan City, Louisiana. Very good. Good morning to you and uh, that smile. It was nice to see. And uh, we, you know, we used to visit all the time. Mm -hmm. No matter where, what every event you, every go to, event he was you there. went to, he was there. And there we go. And uh, we, Blaine and I went to visit uh, our two par, uh, partners, Marty and uh, Vicky, Vicky Frederick, uh, Marty Hebert, uh on, uh, must have been Monday afternoon. And uh, that's a picture of uh, where the office building is, right across the street, uh, right across the, the driveway, like private airport property is across the uh, from in the front of this building right here. It was a former uh, building used by one of the big uh, clothing manufacturers, uh, uh -huh. uh, Fruit of the Loom. Loom. There you go. Uh, and it makes us a good, good. And uh, how about your ladies here? We saw it swallow. Three ladies went while we were having the luncheon and the presentation of the little check to, to the uh, for the Vervis Lafleur Scholarship, mm -hmm. uh, went over and of course uh, the young lady in the white hair, the youngest lady of the group, uh, Miss uh, Verley Dodge, kind of grabbed my arm when I was coming in. Mm -hmm. She says. Bobby, I never thought I'd see you in person, but uh, here you are. And of course, she was with two of her nieces. On the left is Norma, and in the center is Sylvia. And of course, Sylvia uh, has been a owner of uh, the Sabeel Funeral Home for many, many years. You got it. And find your prayer books. We're and, down, down we, in Noir. And I wish I've got, got more stories to we, tell y'all. we got a but, sunset, uh, but we're over with time. time. Uh, each. Uh, program, we like to close by uh, asking you to consider attending the church of your choice. And we try to close with a little thought, maybe you want to call it a prayer. Perfect Father in heaven, let me always serve you faithfully. Grant that I may one day attain a happy return to you. Thanks for viewing. Tell a friend. And uh, Andrew, thank you thank very you. much. KDCG-TV, uniquely Acadiana.